Hey everyone, welcome back to KC3D Sparks. Today we're going to be jumping back into our dungeon build. I thought it would be cool to go ahead and make some sort of symbol as when our PCs walk in through the door, they could see it here, or of course you can put it wherever else you want, but just kind of like a symbol of whatever, if it's good or evil. I thought we would just do a basic pentagram so that way it's, you know, it could be interpreted as either. So let's just go ahead and jump to an empty layer. We're gonna do Shift A and we're gonna do the text first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and focus in on that. And for me, since I don't want it to be legible, I want it to be interpreted as anything, I found a font that you know basically turns my letters into basic symbols anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that font real quick. It's actually a Skyrim a Dovahkiin font. So I thought it was really nice. Look, that way we could basically type anything we wanted and anytime we use it, it'll it could say something different. But I'm just gonna go ahead and tab into edit mode. That way we can type out our new message. So what I'm going to do is, since I'm doing a pentagram, I'm gonna do spirit, water, for fire, earth, and air. And then in between each word, I'm going to put the letter O, like a bullet point almost. Um, I don't know, just to give it a little bit of flair. So I'll do, and uh, with this font, it doesn't matter if I do capitals or non-capitals. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Water, O, fire, O, earth, and air. And I'm going to do that last O as well. Now, for the symbol that I want on the ground, I do want it to be in a circle. So let's just go ahead and tab out of edit mode because our text is done. What I want to do is do shift a curve and we're going to select the circle and then we can head over here. Make sure you click back on your text. We're going to hit modifier and deform curve and then we can just select our circle and it's a little small. You can tell that our text is just overlapping everything. So we'll go ahead and size this way up until we get it about there. So where it's meeting, I'm trying to make our spaces look about the same size. So right about there actually looks pretty good. So now that we have that all settled, what we can do now, I'm just going to deselect that. So the reason I wanted to get the text first is so we could make our basic size and then we can create our little pedestal and everything around the symbol. So what we'll do is do shift a, I'm going to do mesh and another circle. I'm going to drop this down to 10 vertices and we'll just go ahead and tab into edit mode from there and make sure you're on vertex select mode. We're going to grab every other vertice, hit S and just size that in until you get the star shape that you like, just like that. That looks pretty good. Now, for most pentagrams, they have like the hollowed out, so it actually looks like it's hand drawn. So what we'll do is I'm gonna alt right click so I have all of these vertices selected. Do shift D, so that would give me a duplicate. And we're just gonna size that in to maybe about there. And then what we'll do is grab the five points, hit X, and we're going to make sure we hit dissolve vertices so we get this pentagon. Now for this part, we're gonna grab this do E to extrude and just size that in. And don't worry about the normal, which way the normals are facing, we can fix that after. So once we have about the thickness that we would want for our star, we're just going to go ahead and fill in these sections here. Do F, grab these, hit F again. And one more time, we'll hit F. And then we'll go ahead, select these two vertices and hit J to join so it cuts it across right there. And you'll wanna do that on each point. J to join and J to join. I'm gonna to switch to face select mode, grab these faces and hit X, faces to get our five points cleared out. Now I'm just going to hit A to select everything, hit E to extrude, and see which way fixes our normals, which is that way. So now our normals are facing in, or, um, our normals are facing outward, which is the way we want it. 
awesome. And just because we did it, created this a little odd, what you can do to make sure all the normals are facing correctly is go ahead, hit spacebar, start typing in normals. Oops. Go ahead, go to make normals consistent just to make sure everything is good. Now, now that we have our star here, um, our text is facing the wrong way. So what we'll want to do to make it so spirit is actually on the top point. Um, you could just grab the text, but if you just start to rotate this, it's not going to work out and it'll make a weird shape. So you want to grab the text and the circle and rotate them together. So I'm going to make the spirit go to the top, probably just about there. I'm going to increase the size of the star. And now what I want to do is do shift A and we're going to add another circle, but I'm going to pop this up to 24. And this part, once you see what we do to this, you can of course do however many vertices you want. I just like the way that 24 looked. So I'm going to size this up to be probably about there. And then what I want to do is just shrink that down probably about here. Uh, we're going to tab into edit mode, do E to extrude. I'm just going to right click out of that and then we're going to pull this up to right about where I have the fonts. Go on to top view. I'm going to rid of that menu. Hit E to extrude and we're going to size that out until we can't see our font anymore. And I'm going to hit Z to see how it looks, which I'd like it to be a little bit even on each side. So probably more like that. Go into side view, hit E to extrude again, pull that down, maybe about there. E to extrude. I'm just going to size that out, give it kind of like another lip, E to extrude, pull that down to about there, E to extrude, Alt M at center. And we'll also want to do that for this one. So we'll do E to extrude, Alt M at center to seal that off. I'm kind of thinking I made this a little large, so I'm going to do S and shift Z so it just sizes in a little bit and doesn't change the Z axis at all. I think that looks a little better. So for our text, let's go ahead and select that real quick. And actually, we can rename this to star and name this to... I know it's not technically a pedestal, but I'm not sure what else to call it right now. So we'll just go ahead and name it that. Um, so for our text, we just want to go ahead and do Alt C. And we'll do mesh from curve and that will convert it and it will add our modifier as well. So we'll just go ahead and hit tab into edit mode. Just see for wireframe, select everything. We're going to hit E to extrude, pull that up, select everything, push that down. Look at how deep it goes. That looks pretty good. All right. So for our pedestal or whatever you want to call this seal basically you could make it like look like stone or something like that but i wanted something a little bit more unique so what i wanted to do was go ahead and just grab every other edge loop here as we've made the stone texture so many times i don't want to get repetitive i thought it'd be cool if we just did every other loop and drag it down to make kind of a zigzaggy look but we do want to make sure our base is flat so you'll want to make sure you grab all of this do sz0 and hit enter and of course you always pull that back down a little bit if it messes it up and then what you'll want to do is make sure oh yeah that your lettering at the lowest point is still deep enough to make an impression which it is and you'll want to do that with the star as well which you can see it kind of gets lost a little bit right there. So we will drag it down so it still gets impressed there. And I think about there is probably good. So now what we can do is we're going to select everything with A, hit Control A, Rotation and Scale, and also Location just to make sure everything's good. For our pedestal seal thing, we're going to do Boolean. We're going to do Difference, and I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So we're going to do that for the text and our star. So I'm going to hide those, make sure it did actually cut them out and make sure that you like the result. So for me, pretty sure I do like that. 
pretty interesting. If you wanted, you could always, I'm not sure how I feel about this part. I might go ahead and do SZ0 because the star shape almost gets a little lost. So I'm thinking, yeah, that looks a little better and just have the main part of the like framing seal wavy. That looks pretty good. So now we can just go ahead and apply those two. Hit M to move it, oops, wrong layer, to that layer. So we can resize it, see what, cause right now it's at um, over two feet, or I'm sorry, one foot and two inches. So a little large, we'll go ahead and move that to our entrance. Grab that. And I'm thinking I'd like it to fit across four squares. So I'll put that right in the center. So more like that. So not quite two inches. I'd like to leave it a little bit smaller, uh, but we do want, probably want it to be visible in the dungeon. Right about there. So that way, when our characters enter in, they're greeted with our beautiful seal of our group here. Whether they're good or evil, that's up for you to decide. But like I said, that's why I wanted to make the text illegible so that way it can be changed anytime you enter it. Of course, you could always print out a new one if you want to change up the text every time. That's totally cool too. Total personal preference. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you have any questions or requests for next time, be sure to leave those in the comments below. If you liked it, make sure you give this a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys next week.